All right, guys, this video is going to be a little bit different. Not really going to be uh, doing too many upgrades on the car. Basically, we're going to do a couple updates on the car. Um, basically, the exhaust, it was a little bit too loud of the setup I had. So I am doing a couple things to help quiet it down. And also, a little update on the suspension that I installed roughly a month ago. The $300 inexpensive suspension I did. So we're going to do that. And one other thing I'm going to do is... Um, there was uh, my last video where one person made a comment, or more than one person, they sent me texts, made comments about how I was saying how strong I am on workout regiments and all that stuff. So I made a quick video of my workout regimen. So I hope you guys enjoy, and um, have fun. All right, guys, we're doing a little update on the SLK. So the exhaust was way too loud over driving it. So what I'm going to do is basically I made these little... Circle things, I'm gonna put it right there. We're gonna weld them up. And I already tested it, it did quiet down, put a little bit of restriction on there. And then I'm gonna do one or two other things. And as you can see, the little clips I had to take off or break off more or less, just because they were they were being a little rattling inconvenient. So, start going. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is uh, put some wrapper on the exhaust. And uh, that hopefully will quiet it down a little bit and it'll help uh, drop temperatures next to the transmission, all that stuff. One thing I do recommend, wear gloves and a long sleeve shirt when you're doing this stuff. I'm wearing my uh, Cleus McFarlane long sleeve shirt. Hopefully I don't really ruin it, but I'd rather that than get this stuff on my skin because it's going to itch real bad for a while. Alright, let's start wrapping it. bad a little bit of it's still hanging up I need to clean up a little bit tie it up a little bit better but hopefully that will quiet it down we got our caps in there so we're gonna see what happens alright guys the exhaust came out pretty good the wrap wasn't that bad but in between that and looking at the suspension we're gonna show you how to work out so I hope you guys enjoy and go hey guys so you guys how I stay so fit and slender in my old age. One, it could be always eating Italian food, but mainly it's from puppy workouts. Step one, wrestle yourself a puppy. I like to start off with some high weight, a good 35 pound dog. Yeah. And you do some puppy squats. Oh yeah, one, two, three, oh yeah. They like it. And then Turn them around, maybe do little puppy curls. Oh yeah, one, two. For you smaller people, you round yourself. Maybe start with a smaller weight, you know, like a 15 pounder. Just do some curls, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, and that's puppy workouts. Hardest part of puppy workouts is wrangling the puppies. Get the, get pumpkin boots. That's puppy workout 101. Son of a All right, for the update and check, we're checking the. Suspension, make sure everything's still tight. It's been uh, over a month since we installed it. All right, just a little update about this kit. As you can see, you can't even get in there really to adjust it. So this cheap $300 lowering kit, these are why you kind of buy the more expensive ones just because it's almost asinine of how they put that 
I know you barely could even get in there. But also what I'm noticing, this is the driver's side. You can see how that tire was rubbing. So what we're gonna do is just heat this up and kind of bang it out a little bit to kind of reshape it. And then spray it with some paint and then double check it in about a week of driving. I don't know if it's the proper way, but we're gonna do it with the fender roller. We heated it up a little bit with a torch. And it seems like it's getting pretty good. See how far now we could travel actually before I was actually pushing hard to get it all the way over here. We'll pull it back a little bit. Get a little bit more heat in it. Keep going like this for quite a little bit until I can push it all the way through and then paint it and see if that helps. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's a, it's a pretty big difference. But you can see how it kind of got a little hot over there, but there's nothing really behind there, so I think we'll be good. And then I'm gonna spray it. It's the only color I really got extra at the house, though. So. I don't really care what it looks like because no one's gonna see it. I'll come back over here with paint with black paint later, but another day. This is just to spray the whole area. That way I can see if anything goes wrong. Check it up in like a week, let that dry. <laughs> let that sit for like a week. And then check again. This is a press side. Not as bad, but we'll do the same thing. Spraying paint, as you can see, still even on this side. You can't even adjust it unless you start dropping stuff down, but... This side's still pretty tight. Everything's looking good for the nice little update. Brake pads aren't that bad. All right, let me go heat this up and knock this one out now. All right, guys, we got the exhaust. There's a little update with everything. I'm gonna do a quick little like a uh, data log pool on this uh, private road I know of. So just so you know, it is 98 degrees out right now, and I have been driving the car a little bit to get everything all heated up. So I think I got an air intake temperature of uh, 114 and then we're going to see what the mass airflow sensor and everything does with a quick little uh, 20 pull on this uh, private road I know of. We're not going to really downshift or nothing, we're going to let the car do everything just because I don't got enough hands. guys I just got back from the test drive it went pretty good the car sounds a lot quieter than it did it's still a little loud um did a couple hits no real issue or nothing like that so now I'm a little itchy because some of it did get on my legs and all that stuff so what I'm gonna do is hose off and wash the car really quick because I'll already be wet all right so enjoy For a second. Well, I hope you guys like this video. The next one's gonna be actually where we start uh, ripping apart the interior, put a couple of the race seats in, maybe a steering wheel too, a couple little secret things. But I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, have a great day, guys. Bye. Sit. Good boy. Paw, lady. Sit. Paw. Good girl. Take the cookie. You got. Oh, you can. take the cookie.